Thank you, Madam Speaker. All state-owned entities are collapsed by the ANC's incompetence. It was the ANC employees that looted SOE's resources, and this started long before the Guptas. But we are made to believe that they are angels and saints, they are good and bad, and the rotten part is being cleaned out. The reality is that we are witnessing a consolidation of a parallel state network that is being created by Minister Pravin Gordon. It started at SARS and was continued at National Treasury. Even when he was fired by the constitutional delinquent Jacob Zuma, he came here to Parliament as a backbencher to continue with that project. The removal of Siabonga Gama from Transnet, especially after Transnet posted positive results and shows stability without following due process or fair labor practices, is Minister Pravin Gordon's modus operandi. We knew about the corruption at Transnet, we exposed the rot of the locomotive procurement, and we even went to open a case at the Johannes Police Station. So people must not come here and say when we are exposing Minister Pravin's parallel state network that we are defending corruption, because when it was not popular to do so, we were exposing corruption. As a pure free market Order. fundamentalist, Honourable Minister Member, Pravin... Honourable Member, can you take a seat? Honourable yeah, Minister? Uh, the Honourable Member has, in your hearing, I don't think you need to see Hansard, made very, very serious allegations against a member of this House without any submission of a substantive motion. And I think this needs to be part of a substantive motion and not abuse of the podium. Thank you. Thank you. Honourable Member, in terms of Rule 85, as you know, you can impugn on the character of the member and if there are issues that you have, you can bring them in the substantive motion. I would ask you to withdraw. I'm not saying withdraw Order, your whole Order, Honourable Mentor, can I speak to the member? But All it's a generalization. Order, Honourable Member. It's a general statement. Honourable Mentor, can you take oh. your seat? The Honourable Member specifically mentioned in a particular way directed to Minister Praveen Gordon, and it is that that I'm saying she must withdraw. Not her statement, but that section of her presentation. Order, Speaker. Order, yes, what's your point of order? Speaker, is our EFF view that Mr. Gordon is protecting Honourable, certain faction within the Honourable ANC member. and is here to defend them. Honourable That's member. a view we hold. It's a Can political you debate you seat? are making. I'm going to switch off your But mind. we are making a debate. On uh, order, Honourable Member, I'm speaking to the member on the podium and asking her once again to withdraw that section that directly impugns on the character of the member. If she wants to bring a substantive motion, she can do so. Can Honourable, you withdraw, Honourable Member, that section? Honourable Chairperson, I'm not going to withdraw. Can that you section. then take your seat and leave the podium and leave the house? IFP. Honourable Member, what is your point of order? Chair, Chairperson, yes. you did not hear what the member was talking to. It's a general statement. Order. I would have preferred you to go and listen to the Hansard and made a ruling later because it's a general statement that was made there. Honourable and order. what has the Minister point of, of uh, State-owned enterprises have done? Can I respond to you honorable member with due respect i listened to the member and in her statement she specifically inferred on minister godan on him running a parallel uh, state on the side and also yes she did she did, and I asked her, that's why I said specifically I'm asking her to withdraw that part which impugned on the member, not her whole statement, and she refused. And in terms of Rule 85, as you know, you cannot infer on the, on the character of a member without bringing it on a substantive motion. And I asked the member several times, 
and she said she's not withdrawing, she can excuse us in the House for today. Thank you. Order, honorable members. Order, honorable uh, Singh. What is the point of order? Pung Pataga and Bila Uguti. Can you please take a seat, honorable member? Aye, aye, aye. That's the wrong point of order. Honorable member, you can use those gestures in the house. Otherwise, I will ask you to leave. Honorable Singh. Thank you, Honourable Chairperson. It's a lovely way of getting an afternoon off by saying something that I shouldn't be saying here. But uh, having said that, Honourable Chairperson, you know, sometimes I wonder whether consideration... No, I can't be... I can't Order, hear myself. Honourable Members, can you please allow those who are exiting the House to do so and allow the Member to proceed with his statement? Thank you very much, uh, House Chair and Order, Honourable Members. Honourable Members. Order, Honourable Members. When the it robust developmental role make of state-owned enterprises was developed and implemented, it sought to Order, drive Honourable industrialization members. and the racial transformation Order, of the Honourable economy. Order, can you take oh. your seats? Order, yes, we will do so. Can you Thank take your seat? Okay. No, Honourable members, I really, uh, can you please not use unparliamentary language? Whether you don't say ULO, you started, and that's why I had to question you. And he responded, and that's why I had to talk to him that two wrongs can't make a right. Can we please be in order? I'm, I'm Honourable Member. I'm rising on a rather different point. Yes, uh, Honourable Member. Chairperson, the Honourable Kwankwa, from the podium, referred to you as Sis Toko Batlelele. I thought we referred to each other as Honourable Chair or yes. Honourable Member. Could we please, I, all of us, observe? Thank you. We're not chair. Thank you, Honourable Member. This member. is an African Parliament. I beg to differ. Honourable Nkwankwa, uh, for With now. With respect. We have oh, not. Honourable Nkwankwa, for now, we have not agreed that this is how we'll refer to each other in the House. We had in the rules agreed that if members don't feel comfortable by saying Honourable, they will say Mr., Ms., or Mrs. Can we observe the protocols? Honorable, Honorable members, Honorable Honorable your time will be managed. Can you just please come? So to must the I withdraw, CC and Mama? Sis, just I want to say, understand. Oh, just say House Chair. I said House Chair. Thank you very much. Proceed. Diabulela, Sisi, thank you very much. On uh, a point of order, Chair. What is the point of order, Honourable uh, Member? Chair, I was to copy this clause as a parliament. I was. Unkalele. Unama no misses yintoenye. Honourable. Unsi no miss yintoenye. Unkalele. Go go to copy this clause as a dufne as a kumche. Honourable Member. Asiya katina wasi skolo zabalu. Honourable Member. Akada singe nego zasi skolo zabalu sis talk. Can you take a seat? Can I? Can I advise you? In our own languages. There is a word that refers to honorable member. You can say mshonishwa, mshonipeki, as I always do so from this podium. I have not, none of the presiding officers have actually used those languages. It is free for members of parliament. If they want those phrases to be used, to do so in the rules. There is a rules committee and that is allowed. Order, honorable members. Can you proceed, honorable Mkwankwa? Sister Gongu, no chair. Honorable Mkwankwa. Order, chair. Order, chair. Honorable Mkwankwa. Order, chair. Honorable Mkwankwa. Can we please proceed with the report that we are discussing properly? Order, let's chair. not just have spurious points of order. Order, chair. I have made a ruling. And let's proceed. Honorable oh, Khawula, order, chair. what's your point of order? Chair, in Nagyam, you are setting a precedent. We have been always refusing to call members of the ANC honorables. 
instead of calling them honorables, we will call them mister. So when we say mama, it's equal to say missus. So you are distorting the rules of parliament. So if I don't want to call you Mushoni Peki, Dinelunge Lologuti, mama. Honorable member. You are distorting the rules of parliament. Please, you must withdraw from the chair. Honorable members, I have advised order, order, honorable mentor, honorable mentor, I have advised that if members so wish to make amendments on our rule and be explicit, that can be done in the rules. And I don't think we should waste our time in that respect. Honorable, honorable Chairperson, no, no. Chair, Chair, uh, honorable Chair, I'm addressing you in terms of Rule 92, Sub Rule 11. Yes. Now, Sub Rule 11 is very clear that once a ruling has been made by a presiding officer, it cannot be debated in the House. Now, members know what to do. So, I'm saying they are continuously debating your ruling, which is in violation of the rules of this House. Thanks, Chair. Thank you very much, Honorable, honorable Member. Chair. Honorable Mwabe, what's the point of order? Chairperson, there is a, a, a precedent in this house that Umam Kaula has been called Umam Kaula even by the presiding officers. She has never contested that. If it's what you are saying is correct, it means Umam Kaula has never been honored, honored in this house. I think your, your ruling is not consistent. Uh, uh, Thank you very much. Honorable member, for now I've made the ruling. Let's proceed. As I've indicated, we will ask members of the different parties to address that issue, even the one of calling Honorable Kaula Mam Kaula. Can you proceed, Honorable Member? Honorable Chairperson. Honorable members, we have ruled on this matter. Why are we debating it? Chairperson. Yes. I would like to make a request. Yes, you can. That instead of saying take this to the rules, that you go back and make a considered ruling so that members can form a basis of how they will approach the rules committee. Because quite frankly, I do not believe that your ruling is correct. I'm not debating it, but I'm requesting that you come back to the House with a considered ruling which you will use as a basis to approach. It would be unfortunate that line limbs are say Africa. Okay, thank you very much, Honourable Member. Honourable Nkwankwa, can you proceed? Sister Ogo, Iklashalam, Dukalani Lungis, please. When they assault them, not the end, the London Sissinger's course. When this course has a same Kaya Apang, could not check into Mganto or Shane Lamgin, Pants went to Barando, that is not a CC. So, when the robustly developmental role of state-owned enterprises was developed and implemented, it sought to drive industrialization and the racial transformation of the economy while ensuring that SOEs remain financially stable. Fast forward to 2018, SOEs have become a major drain on the fiscals due to the corruption, mismanagement, and the ANC government's cavalier attitude to fiscal rectitude. Today, our SOEs require bailouts left, right, and center. I mean, if you look at our SOEs, most of them have been turned around several times over the past few years, but none of them have turned. In fact, you feel like they are moving around in a traffic circle. Look at SAA, for instance. How many times have we bailed out SAA? We continue to bail out SAA. From where we're sitting, SAA is beginning to rapidly look like a vanity project that the African, South African national government does not want to, to let go of. The fact of the matter is, if we don't deal with governance issues, make sure that there are consequences for people who run these SOEs to the ground, this problem is going to recur. It requires leadership. We're only supporting this report because some changes have been made firstly at management and governance level and want to see whether or not there will be improvements in future. So we support this report grudgingly because our changing going to Thank you, Honourable Member. Your time Thank is up. The ACDP. So the slab. Order, Honourable Member, what's your point of order? Gabonga slab. We also call in Dola Engi Tanda, Leo Clonipan. But Conalano Guti, 
lenta ngizofuna ukuthi ngelinye ilanga nibeg uyabona la sibizana ngo honorable honorable twasi yahloniphana kodwa mangabe sekukhona enye member la ishonile akukho la ikhonjibisa khona kuyihloniphi ukuthi be ku honorable awuzwa thu ishonile anibona ukuthi ngcwatshwe kanjani aninike nale ento ebizwa ngothi state funeral asifane manje why london ithi thina sihloniphekile sihloniphekile kodwa anikwazi kuyibheka le nto kuyimazi ne member la ishonile asitshelwa ngasazi nokwazi ubona ngoba usutholi ishonile ezinto ofuna nibheke zonke lezo manilungisa imithetho ngiyabonga Thank you honorable member honorable member of the ACDP can you proceed uh, thank you thank you umama house chair is that permissible <laughs> thank you house chair thank you the ACDP shares concerns expressed in the report about the deplorable financial state of the SOEs